Hey there, ladies and gentlemen. Today I bring you another OU battle. My opponent today is Jay Bazzi of Twitter. Uh, my team is the same as it was before. I, I do really like this configuration, and I'm pretty satisfied with it. Uh, there's a chance that I will have to switch it up after this battle, uh, depending on what happens with the OU suspect test by now. By the time you're watching this battle, that decision will have been made, but I am recording this narration on July 26th, the last day of the OU suspect test. I really hope they didn't ban Age Slash. I don't think it really warrants a ban. But, um, you know, we'll see. So I lead out, we actually both lead off with our Rotoms. That's fine. He's gonna just straight up switch out as I go for the Will-O-Wisp uh, figure. Except for uh, Alakazam, no one on his team really wants to be burned. And getting Ferrothorn burned is good. Get, uh, racking, rack, uh, racking up that residual damage. I go now out, out into Motoko. He goes for the Thunder Wave like, sweet, I don't care. I'm slow anyway. As long as I don't get fully paralyzed, it's totally fine. And now I'm in an excellent situation, and this is actually kind of the situation that people think of when they think that uh, Aegis Slash is broken, and I can just go for a Shadow Ball and it'll hit everyone on his team for at least uh, regularly effective damage, and I get fully paralyzed. And I was like, that's lame! That was a 1 in 4 shot, and I would have done massive damage. I actually counted it, and um, uh, it's, I, does it, I think, like 70% to most uh, Rotom, or not Rotom, to most uh, Lander's T's. But yeah, so I just go ahead and uh, I do have lots of counters for uh, Lander's T. The trick is keeping him in. Um, so my opponent goes ahead and bolt switches out, goes back out into Ferrothorn, which is a 100% uh, counter for uh, my Rotom. I could run the Hidden Power Fire. I've run Hidden Power Fire on Rotoms before, but then it's, it's just not a really good move to have on it um, because I'm not running any special attack investment. Uh, so anyway, I predicted the switch out here, and I just go for the stealth rock, and this is an excellent, this is an excellent play. And now I've got my rocks up, and he doesn't have a spinner, as far as I can tell. Oh, he, he probably has a defogger in Latias, but if he gets Latias up, that's that gives me a chance to do some stuff. So uh, he goes ahead and new turns out here, uh, withdraws out into Alakazam, um, and I go ahead and switch out on this next turn. I go out into Motoko, and uh, I was predicting the Psy Shock, and here indeed comes the Psy Shock. Uh, not necessarily Psychic, I could have been a Psychic, but either way, I didn't want to take the Psychic-type move. Uh, and now, I'm just I'm like, hey, let's just go for the Shadow Ball. Should be great. And he, sends, he does the same exact move, um, sends out his Landorus T, and I'm like, let's do that 70% damage. And I get fully paralyzed again. So, 1 in 16 sh chance that that would happen two times in a row. And I'm thinking, mm. So now, I go ahead and uh, use King Shield, because the chance of me getting paralyzed three times in a row, are you kidding me? And so that mattered, because now I'm down to 25 HP, so I can't send in, um, I can't, I, I, this thing is basically dead. Now I do have someone who can pass it a wish. It also happens in my cleric, but getting, you know, wish passing is really hard. Wish passing is really hard. So I, I rolled the dice, I had a 1 in 4 shot of that going bad, and it went bad. So that sucked. That really sucked. So I, uh, okay, so Willowis misses, who cares, it's against Rotom. Um, he actually will this as well. Uh, I go ahead and Volt Switch out. Rotom is now down to under 20, under 50%. Got into Titan Arum. Titan Arum is a good Pokemon to have out here. I go ahead and finally Mega Evolve. It's been a while that I haven't Mega Evolved. So now I'm Mega Venusaur. He goes ahead and switches out. It's fine. Don't care. Um, out now is going to be Ferrothorn. And I actually can't do anything to Ferrothorn because I don't carry the Hidden Power Fire because I wanted to Sleep Powder. Um, Sleep Powder Synthesis, Giga Drain, um, Sludge Bomb, doesn't give the best coverage. Uh, I go ahead and synthesize here, uh, get my health back up to full, he sets up a layer of spikes, and so now we're getting all these hazards up, and I have no spinner. And that's, that's really unfortunate with my, um, with my Aegislash being so low on health, but I figure it has just enough to survive, and so I send it in, and as long as he's not going to go for an attack, it should be fine. Para goes for Thunder Wave, I'm really glad I didn't try to heal Bell earlier. So now, um, I don't think, also, I, yeah, I don't think he can KO me, uh, and so he goes ahead and switches out, and I'm like, come on, Shadow Ball, should do a massive amount of damage, and, uh, I, it's looking good, looking good, and I get fully paralyzed again! Three, are you sh- four times in a row! Four freaking times in a row! That was the worst hacks I've ever had! Uh, I, I, that's probably not true, um, but it was really bad, and I wanted to cry, so, uh, here at least I get a King Shield, but it fails, whatever, who cares. I just need to get my health back up so I could switch out again. I go for another King Shield, it doesn't fail this time. Uh, Rotom went for rest. <laughs> so he is, he's murdering me. So he got the Chesto Resto set, okay. 
Uh, now I've got 45 HP and maybe I can switch out. I go out now into bow, and we're going to do some heal belling and we're going to do some wish wishing, and we're going to be wishing about those wishes that I can get the wish off and onto Mortopo, because then maybe this battle won't be uh, so awful. You notice neither of us have gotten a KO this far, so I go for the wish, and now I'm like, well, now Bo needs the wish. Uh, that kind of sucks. Um, but, you know, I figure I, I'll have time. It doesn't look like he is predisposed to switch out. So I protect myself, uh, get it back up to almost, oh, to, what, like, three quarters? So that's pretty good. Oh, uh, yeah, just over three quarters. Um, will -O misses, who cares? Um, I was just gonna go for Heal Bell at some point. Anyway, uh, Rotom Bolt switches out here. That's fine. I didn't expect it to stay in forever. So it might have been nice. Uh, uh, Ferrothorn goes out, and I went for the heal bell here, and so now the paralysis is gone, and thank god. But my, you know, uh, Aegislash's health is down to so low that it's going to be really hard to switch it in with all those layers of hazards up. And I'm really, really worried here that he's going to set up another layer of hazards. So, um, indeed, there goes another layer. I'm like, can Mokoko, can, can it survive one more switch in? And I really don't know. I just don't know. And he's obviously not going to run Deepak at this point. I mean, he's got much more to uh, lose by defogging than uh, I would have again. I get the first KO of the match, so that's awesome. But you know, this match is not going my way. So Alakazam is out, and I'm thinking, okay, I am physically defensive, not specially defensive. But I should still be able to take one of anything. Um, Trace is my pixelate, who cares? Uh, here comes the attack. I actually do survive, and I think maybe I can survive too. Maybe I can survive too if I do a little bit of protect song. So I protect here. And I'm like, okay, I can't take another, so I'll just get my health up a little bit higher, and then I side shock, and then he side shocks, and maybe I survive, and no, that didn't happen. So I've lost my cleric, and now I go out into Motoko, not paralyzed anymore, I can hit it with priority shadow sneak, it's obviously going to predict that, go out into um, Landorus T. Maybe I should have predicted his prediction, but had it backfired, it would have been far worse. Uh, that's not true. I have, I keep, I have, actually, probably the better switch out would have been into Talonflame, because Talonflame has the priority thanks to Gale Wings. Um, but whatever. I go out into shield form because I just have to be able to survive, uh, one more switch in, but it's not gonna happen. Like, I'm, I, I think I need, I need 45 in order to survive, and so I have to go for the double king shield, and it does not, and it fails, and Multico is down, and that makes me so sad. I'm just on the verge of tears. Uh, and yeah, so I go out now into Rotom, and, you know, I'll go for the Hydro Pump, and he doesn't have actually... Well, so Rotom is a good switch in. Um, yeah, so uh, he actually... Uh, my Hydro Pump even misses on top of everything else, and he's going to go ahead and will I have no more Cleric, and I just want to cry. I just want to cry like a baby. And uh, Volt Switch does not KO, but it comes close. I go out now into Titan Aram. I should have done that earlier. Uh... But Titan Aram wouldn't really have liked being burned anyway. But it doesn't matter, Titan Aram's gonna get burned anyway, no matter what I do. I go for the Sleep Powder, misses. I was actually predicting a switch there, which is why I went for the Sleep Powder. Um, and I'm just gonna freaking Giga Drain it and KO. Um, so at least I get it. So now it's 2, it's 4-4, uh, four, four, but mm, it's his 4 are much better, uh, at a much better state than my 4. So I go for the Sleep Powder here. I was hoping maybe, well, I don't, I'm not running any speed in EV, so he would outspeed no matter what, but it's a subset and he blocks it. And so now I'm like, oh crap, what do I do? And so he calm minds, I'm like, oh crap, now I've got to break the sub so I can get a free switch in. Um, so I'm like, what am I gonna do? I can't, I, at this point I'm like, this is a good game because I can't do anything. He's gonna take out my Titan Aram and yeah, this is just not going to work, because I need one Pokemon to break the sub, and then get KO'd, and then I need another Pokemon to actually kill it, and um, it has to be a physical attacker, and I just don't see it working. So I go for the Sludge Bombs, and it's doing teeny weeny bits of damage, especially now that he's calm minding up to Oblivion. So, um, at this point it's good game, J. Bazzi, but I've got, what, three more minutes of this battle? So I will narrate my complete and total destruction. Uh, I go for another Sludge Bomb, and I think at this point the, slu uh, the sub fades, and uh, I am thinking now if I'm going to switch out, it's the time to switch out, but uh, I don't actually switch out. I, I go for the Giga Drain. Uh, I'm not sure why. I'm not sure why at all. Uh, and he's just going to keep Calm Minding up. So really, I could have been predicting some com the Calm Minds and gone out and done the thing that I was going to do, but it doesn't matter. He goes for the uh, Dragon Pulse here, takes out Titan Aram, and now I will get a free switch into someone. And, um, yeah, yeah. So I go out into Isaac, and I'm like, Terrakion should outspeed. 
Uh, and I should, should be able to at least break this up. He outspeeds! Amazingly outspeeds! Uh, I'm pretty... I'm positive I'm running Jolly. There's no question I'm not running Jolly, so must be running max speed. So now I can... the best I can do is break a sub. I go out into Stravinsky. Uh, Stravinsky takes 50%. I go for the Brave Bird. Um, hope that... well, I think it has to take out the sub. And it does take out the sub, and that's great. But it's not great because I'm gonna die to a, like a plus four dragon pulse. I don't. I didn't. I lost count. And now, what's Rotom Watch gonna do? Rotom Watch can't do jack. So I'm. It's not quite a body bag, but it was close to one. It was almost a body bag, and I just want to cry because my Aegis Slash could have really won me the match had it not gotten fully paralyzed four freaking times. In East Away, that's just Sour Grapes. Great game, Jay Bazi. Hope you folks enjoyed this match. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. So long.